Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Democratic Republic of Congo and South Africa have vowed to revive Congo's giant Inga-3 hydroelectric project, as Pretoria looks for a solution to its crippling power crisis. The $14 billion scheme, harnessing the power of the Congo River, has been repeatedly delayed by red tape and disagreement between Congo and its partners. Also in DRC, state-owned Jacquemin said on Thursday that it aims to produce 30 metric tons of germanium per year. That's after China announced export curbs on Monday on some gallium and germanium products, causing concern among companies in the semiconductor and defense industries. Jacquemin chairman Guy Robert Lucama said some germanium could come to the market in October from a plant that is nearing completion. Tech industry metals have also been in focus in Zimbabwe, where China's Zhejiang Huayu Cobalt has commissioned a $300 million lithium plant. It will produce 450,000 metric tons of lithium concentrates a year. Economically struggling Zimbabwe is trying to consolidate its position as one of the world's top battery metals producers. Mr. Compatriot. Senegal's president, Macky Sall, is seeking to lure more foreign capital to his country with promises that difficult and repressive customs and tax rules would be reformed. Plans include, he said, the digitization of trade and investment protocols, better protections for investor rights and tax breaks. And finally, Nigeria's president, Bola Tanubu, has ordered the suspension of a newly introduced 10% tax on single-use plastics. Nigeria is one of the biggest plastic polluters on the continent, contributing some 2.5 million metric tons of plastic waste annually, according to official data, some of which ends up in the sea. But Tanubu spokesman said the tax introduced in March was being reversed to reduce costs for businesses and households.